What's poppin' YouTube? I'm Chris and today I'm coming back at you guys with another episode of My Strange Addiction. According to this video, we have the top four most disgusting food addictions and judging by just that title alone, I'm gonna guess that we gonna sit here and be fairly disgusted by this video. Now, this show has some pretty interesting people and some pretty interesting addictions, so... To rank these the top four, these have to be pretty bad. If you haven't seen my last My Strange Addiction video, make sure you guys go check that one out. That was definitely an interesting one. But before we get into it, be sure you guys spank that like button, spank that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload. So let's just hop right into it. So here we are with the top four disgusting food addictions. Um, I'm pretty terrified to see what we gonna watch, but let's just get into it. My name is Michelle. I am 29 years old. I am a tattoo artist, and I am addicted to drinking animal blood. Oh my god, I didn't think it was gonna start off like this! There are so many different parts of an animal that you could enjoy, and you chose the blood, which might be the worst part of the animal. Blood is as important as water to me. I like to drink blood when I'm reading, when I'm relaxing, when I'm watching TV, when I'm painting. It's never a bad time for me to drink blood. Michelle has been addicted to drinking animal blood for the past 10 years. She needs seven liters a week to satisfy her cravings and can't start her day without a sip. I wake up in the morning, I pour it into my coffee cup. I drink it, I get energized. I like to cook with blood. I like to make it in soup. I like to cook it with stir fry. Uh -uh, I make dude. Marys. I use vodka, hot sauce, and then I add the final touch. The blood. When Michelle initially told me that she drank blood. That's doing too much. Obviously, I was shocked. It took a while to set in and absorb. Michelle's consuming nearly 1,000 gallons of blood? 23 bathtubs, dude. I prefer pig's blood to beef blood because I prefer the gaminess. It's a little bit more salty than the beef blood. The consistency is like that of wine. It's just slightly thicker. And it doesn't taste like wine, but... Oh, it really? It has the same ambiance. I feel it going down my throat. It's like you don't need having to a cold and drinking a hot toddy. Dude. I get irritable without it. I get angry. I don't want to leave my house. I want my blood. So you're a vampire. My name is Casey. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee. So Casey. And I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. Wait. I take my husband everywhere. To the grocery store. Shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that. That's neat. To the movies. Out to eat. Anywhere I go, he goes. I sleep with him. Night, baby. I love you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I I understand it being bad enough that you carry around your husband's ashes. That's kind of weird. He should just be sitting on a mantle above your fireplace. I mean, that's there's there's no reason for you to be carrying around. But the title of this video is Food Addictions. And she's talking about her husband's ashes. And I'm praying. That she's not about to start grubbing down on that man's ashes. I'm going to lose my cool. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. When I cook, I cook what he likes. I don't eat it, but I cook for him. If I'm watching TV, he's there with me. You're That's just a waste of food. If that somebody point. says, hey, who is that? I'm like, oh, this is my husband. Some people laugh. They think I'm playing. But, it, I mean, it's serious. I, it's my husband. 
Casey and Sean were married in 2009 after dating for 10 months. Everything I had ever wanted in a man was right in front of me, and it felt so great. They fell in love and were soulmates from day one. The two and a half years that they were together, I think, was the only time that Casey was truly, truly happy. Their That's marriage nice. was picture perfect until Sean suffered a severe asthma attack two months ago. The doctor came in, and the look on his face was telltale. It was the day, the day my world stopped turning. The day my life fell apart. That's sad. Oh, baby, I miss you. Though Casey Thank initially you, found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. And I didn't want to wipe wipe them off, because that's my husband, I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers, and here I am today, almost two months later. Stop! And I can't stop. I'm eating my husband. Dude, stop! My name is Robert. Okay, I I get I get that she said that's her husband. She loved him. He died. He's cremated. He's ashes now. Yeah, I get it. That's very sad. But you sticking your finger in that urn and just oh. Damn, babe, you taste delicious. That's, that's not sanitary. That's nasty. Eventually, you're not going to have a husband. He's going to be gone because you, you ate him. He's gone. You Now you don't got anything to carry around because you, you ate your whole husband. I'm 23. I live with my fiance, and I'm addicted to eating plastic bags. think it could get any worse bro i d i really i really didn't think it could get any worse man plastic bags dude <sighs> my favorite bags are the, the bags off the newspaper i start off my day by eating a whole bag the first taste of that plastic in the morning is the best part of my day the plastic eating things a little weird <laughs> I've noticed yeah, it is. That each color of plastic has its own different taste and texture. This right here is my favorite because it's chewy, it's malleable, and it's just delicious. Evan. Uh. <laughs> my name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in okay. Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. Rocks? Dude, what I is this video, I man? Come on. If I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. She was initially attracted to the earthy smell. I was just out walking one day. I had no attention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. It's the grittiness of it and the earthy taste. How do you sit there and take a bite of that rock like it's an apple and not break every single one of your teeth out of your mouth? How? Uh, that's got to be some type of superpower. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. I'm very worried about Teresa. When your body can't handle what you're putting inside. She has it in her pill bottle like it's her fucking daily subscription or something. Like, she she got it primed and ready to go in her purse. And anytime she needs her, her man, her rocks. It's, it's going to rebel against you. 
Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals, including granite. She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth and and get the earthy taste off of it. Kids, kids, please, please do not, do not eat anything that you've seen in this video. Please do not be eating rocks. Don't eat plastic bags. Please do not eat anybody's husband's ashes. Please do not do that, dude. Just don't. Two pounds of rock a day. I will eat them in front of anybody. I'm not ashamed of it, so it doesn't really bother me. How does that work with like digestion? Do you do you digest those rocks? Do they come out whole? I mean, wh what what is why? Just why? Now, before going into this video, I had expected to just be disgusted and possibly slightly disappointed i did not expect to feel large amounts of rage and anger because that might have been the worst video i've ever seen that first girl drinking pig's blood like it's some type of water that's not that's not healthy Kids, don't, don't drink, don't drink pig's blood by the glass full. Please, that's not, that's not good. That's, just don't do that. The second lady might have been the worst one. It's bad enough that you carry around your husband's urn everywhere you go and cook him food that he's not going to eat and then you don't eat it and therefore you're just wasting food. But... You've resorted to literally eating your husband. Does that not seem wrong in any way? Like I said earlier, eventually she's not going to have a husband. She's that, that husband's going to be gone. Because she ate all of them. The third dude eating plastic bags... I mean, that's that's bad. That's a choking hazard. You gonna choke on one of them plastic bags? That can't be good for your body. It's probably not digestible. I, I don't think a plastic bag could be digested, just like regular food. I guess the only positive that comes out of that is he's saving the earth. I mean, it's better than it going in the landfill or on the side of the road littered. I mean, I guess it's it's being disposed of in some way. And that last lady that just eats rocks i think that's got to be the dumbest thing i've ever seen you can't just be going around picking up dirty rocks on the side of the road and chewing on them like it's some potato chips and keeping them in a medicine bottle like you got to take your prescription every two hours that's not that's not good basically the moral of this video is don't listen to anybody that you saw in this video but that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I really want to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to spank the like and subscribe button. Ring the bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.